sorry I didn't bring you any gifts. <laughs> uh, so I'm Sasha, and I took a gap year. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, to find myself <laughs> a boyfriend. Uh, and on my mish to find a boy, I realized... <laughs> I realized something like a very fundamental about myself, which is that I have incredibly low standards. <laughs> and I think it's because I went to an all-girls school for seven years, which means that I was raised to be like a feminist <laughs> who just really loves male attention. <laughs> I do, I do. My school motto was actually, non ageo nemo, sed vere volo. <laughs> And if you don't know Latin, why not? <laughs> um, but in English, if I must. Um, my school motto was, I don't need no man, but I really, really want one. Oh, yeah. Such a bizarre motto. Uh, I would say I'm only like an eight out of 10 feminist though, because I do shave my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> and I objectify men. <laughs> yeah. And one time I sent Kendall Jenner a death threat. <laughs> Weeps, sorry. <laughs> but what I thought we'd do tonight is we'd see how feminist you are as an audience. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to need two male volunteers. Uh, I volunteer you, sir, and I volunteer you, sir. <laughs> yes, you. Or you. <laughs> no one asked you to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Already asserting his male dominance. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, okay, well, what are your names? What's your name? Uh, Max. Max, and what's your name? Ewan. Ewan. <laughs> okay, boring names. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call you man number one, and I'm going to call you Tiger. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so I'm going to give you three really easy scenarios, and you just need to choose which option you do in each scenario. It should be very self-explanatory, okay? So, scenario number one. You're both construction workers. <laughs> You're construction working something. <laughs> I don't know, I study philosophy. <laughs> and I went to private school. <laughs> Uh, okay, and a woman walks by you, right, in a very skimpy dress, <laughs> lots of cleavage. <laughs> Do you A, continue your construction work, think about how much you respect women, or do you B, shout at her nice titties a wooga? <laughs> okay, man number one, which option would you choose? A. Option A, that is the correct option, and which option would you choose? A. Option A. <laughs> Unfortunately, option A has already been chosen. <laughs> That is so unfortunate. So, like, in light of that, which option would you choose? Um, option B. Option B. <laughs> Misogynist. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, scenario number two, your chance to redeem yourself. You are both office workers. And you recently find out that your female colleague gets paid 70% of what you get paid to do the exact same job. Do you A, talk to your boss? Try and fix this inequality. Or do you be, shout at her nice titties a wooga? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's start with you again, man number one. A. Option A, that is the correct option. Uh, and out of option B, Tiger, which option would you choose? <laughs> option B, <laughs> very confident this time. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what exactly would you say to the woman? <laughs> You can't, it's nice titties a wooga. Yeah, nice titties a wooga. <laughs> wow, he's a natural. <laughs> Have you done this before? <laughs> I think I've seen you on Princess Street. <laughs> um, okay, well, scenario number three. Okay, you're both watching the famous feminist Malala Yousafzai do a speech on feminism. I doubt you've heard of her, Tiger. Uh, <laughs> okay, do you? A? Watch and listen, or do you be grab her boobs? <laughs> Let's start with you, Tiger. Which option would you choose? Um. <laughs> 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 yeah.
you had to think about a bit, it's option A. Okay, you watch and listen. Uh, and man number one, out of option B, which option would you choose? Option B. Option B, you grab her boobs, you go honk honk. <laughs> Okay, well, lucky for you, Malala Yousafzai is standing on the edge of a cliff and she is about to fall off. So by grabbing her boobs, you have saved her life. There is one more feminist in the world and it's thanks to you, man number one. And you, Tiger, by watching and listening, you let a feminist die. Yeah. Uh, so on a scale of 10 for feminism, I'd give you, like, uh, a Piers Morgan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't cry, man up. <laughs> no, because no, if you start crying, I'll start crying. And this is a competition show. I can't cry until my winning speech. <laughs> Someone's cheeky. Who is it? Say moi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, and you, man number one, I'd give you a three <laughs> because you just did the right thing. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> uh, so if everyone wants to give a massive round of applause to me for coming up with that. <laughs> You're obsessed with me, stop it. Uh, okay, uh, so like clearly in my set there's been like a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter, <laughs> uh, but also a lot of learning as well, uh, so you're welcome. <laughs>